Hey, it's Brendan Payne with Century 21, and I appreciate you watching this quick buyer update for the second quarter. We're in March, or, or excuse me, April already. March is over, and so I want to get you some good information. If you've heard me talk um, in these updates before for buyers, our goal, my team's goal, is to create battle-ready buyers, meaning buyers that are going to be able to win deals in a super competitive seller's market. So I want to talk to you about three things today that are really, really important. We're in a market right now where list price is really not even a list price on properties. List price is almost more of an auction reserve price. If you've ever seen an auction, they have a lot of times they'll have a reserve. That's the price that the owner of the property, the car, the house, whatever it is, is willing to take, but they've got the intentions and they've got the anticipation that it's gonna bid up over that. So they're like, I'm gonna take that, but I'm expecting to get bid up over that. That's how a lot of the real estate market is right now in most areas. So that can co cause a lot of confusion. It can cause a lot of frustration on the parts of buyers. So how do you win offers in a market where the list price is actually more like a reserve price? There's three ways. Three parts to every offer exist. Number one is the actual price that you're gonna offer on the property. Number two are the terms that go along with your contract. And then number three, which most agents don't talk to you about, is the setup. How do we present the offer? How do we make sure that we put you head and shoulders above the other person that might be bidding on it, even though you might not have the highest price or the best terms? So let's talk quick about price. In this market where you're dealing with really a reserve price, and a lot of times properties are getting bid up over the asking price, then understanding the market and the values prior to getting to the point to write an offer is critical. So if you go and see a property and you think that's really good and you're trying to figure out, well, what price is that gonna sell for? Then you're probably behind all the people that have been looking before you. So it takes time to get that education and have an agent that can supply you with the information that says, listen, I know this is listed at 280, but based on what I'm seeing and what else is out there available, it's probably going to sell all over that. Or maybe something's at 280 and you can look at and say it's going to actually be overpriced, although that's not happening a lot in the market. So knowing the right price or the anticipated price that you're going to be able to pay and what that will likely sell at is a key component to winning deals. The second part are the terms. And everybody's got different terms. Of course, cash buyers can come in and they can just say, hey, I'm going to pay cash and I'll have to worry about any financing. But understand for the seller, the cash terms don't really mean anything once the deal closes. It's the same amount of money. It doesn't matter if it comes from the bank or from the individual bank or the individual buyer's bank account. It's the same amount of money. The concern or the upside to a seller on a cash sale is there's not a lender that has to make a decision. So how can you overcome that? Get the right lender in place and get a couple steps ahead of your competition. So I always recommend instead of just a pre-qualification, let's get a pre-approval. There is a difference. The lenders that provide them know there's a difference and the sellers and the agents that know the difference, it will make um, it will put you above a lot of times the other ones who maybe show up with a quick online pre-qualification, not knocking those companies, but they do a little less to qualify their buyers than somebody who's actually doing a, pre, a full pre-approval, maybe with a local lender or somebody that is well known to get deals closed. The third part is the setup. So you know, in a normal market or gosh, a buyer's market that we had 10, 12, 15 years ago, you just presented the offer. It was what it was. And the seller was happy to get one. Well, now getting an offer for the seller is not that difficult. So there's a setup to that. And part of the setup is a figuring out what's the seller looking for? Is there anything besides the price and terms that are important to them? And also when we present that offer to them, do they know the backstory? Believe it or not, Sellers in this market today are not just after the highest price. They want convenience, they want certainty, and they want to make sure a lot of times in a primary residence that the home is going to somebody that is going to take care of it like they did. The setup is just as important as the price and the terms in this market. If you have questions or you're frustrated trying to figure out how am I going to win some deals, Give myself or somebody on my team a call. We'd love to walk you through how 
we're using those three criteria to really set up our buyers to be able to win deals and in this market, get the property that they want at the price that makes sense for them. Look forward to talking with you soon.